Welcome guys and gals to our tutorial on how to migrate GoDaddy to SiteGround and move your WordPress site and of course all your content and make it all work successfully. You might be confused on how to migrate from GoDaddy to SiteGround or have heard about SiteGround's amazing speed and premium features. Well, if that's the case, this is the tutorial for you. I've done this process for clients and myself now and I'm, I'm so excited that you're here to join us. So. Let's get started. All right, here we have our GoDaddy website that we are gonna move. Pretty cool site for our coach, Sarah John. She's not a real person, but we could pretend she is for the sake of uh, the tutorial. And let's go ahead and move it to SiteGround. So if you got a plan at SiteGround already, that's fine. Um, but just follow along with me and um, we're gonna actually get a new plan at SiteGround because that way I can show you how to get a discount so you can do all this from scratch. All right, so here we are at GoDaddy. We can see I have my one domain name here, Greg's Web Hosting, which is this site right here, Greg's Web Hosting. And we have a basic managed WordPress website hosting. So this will work if you just have their um, simple web hosting, like eco plans, whatever plans you have, this will work. This is just a basic managed WordPress website and then the email and stuff is not gonna apply today. All right, so let's go ahead and click on manage. And we'll get inside our little manage WordPress hosting area. And then we can click go to customizer to log in super easily. Don't even need to enter in our password. So pretty cool. I do like GoDaddy a lot. They've really beefed up their WordPress services, but SiteGround is definitely leading the race in terms of quality WordPress sites. Okay, we're gonna X out of Customizer, and we're gonna go to Plugins to get this process started. Okay, click on Plugins. All right, and if it goes a little faster there, if it makes you feel comfortable to update these um, before you migrate, that's fine, but we can always update them after. So we're gonna click Add New, and then search for, it's called SiteGround Migrator, and it should come up. All right, here she is, SiteGround Migrator. Click Install Now, and then we'll activate. So what we're doing here is setting up SiteGround's free manual migration plugin. So you won't pay anything to migrate from SiteGround to GoDaddy, or sorry, from GoDaddy to SiteGround. Um, but what this does is it sets up all your content um, on whatever host you're on. In this case, this is hosted on GoDaddy. It sets up all your content and it's gonna bundle it up and make it in a format that SiteGround can receive your content and then we're gonna transfer everything over. Okay, so now we can click on SG Migrator and it's gonna ask us for a migration token. So that's where we need to go to SiteGround. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and set up a new SiteGround plan here. If you wanna check out our discount, you can go to Greg Narayan, just yours truly.com, not flywheel though, slash SiteGround. And you're gonna find our special discounts page I've made for all you guys on YouTube. And I've asked SiteGround to update this with any of their new discounts as soon as they come out and they've agreed. So, pretty cool. This is gonna be the best SiteGround prices for you. You might remember, unfortunately, that it used to be $3.95 where the prices started at. Unfortunately, not the case anymore. That's life. SiteGround has added a lot more features to their plans. So things like, you know, free migrator, auto updates, all these cool things like a Cloudflare CDN. Of course, you get a free SSL for security and they've really become a premier web host, which is gonna help you in the future. Hope I can frame that the right way. Other than that, there's just a ton of speed. My website, for example, Easy Website Ideas, is hosted on SiteGram and just clicking around it, it's just that much faster than like any other site, um, any other web host I've used, whether it's, you know, any of the big three or any other web posts, it's just it's just so much faster over here. And your users will really appreciate that. So 
Back to Seiken, let's go ahead and get ourselves a startup plan, because that's the cheapest, and we're doing the free migration. Side note, if you ended up with the Grow Big plan, if you bought that in advance, Seiken does offer a professional migration where they basically log into your old cPanel and import all the content over to SiteGround for you. So that's a free service they offer one time for Grow Big plans and Go Geek plans, but this professional migration where they do it for you is not available in startup plans anymore, which means we gotta do it ourselves. But the good news is it's fun to learn this process ourselves and we're gonna get the cheapest plan. So let's go ahead and click Get Plan on startup. Now it's going to be time to choose the domain, um, but we're not going to register a new domain because we already have one on our GoDaddy site, which is that Greg's web hosting one or whatever your domain name is. All right, so all you got to do is just copy your domain name and you're going to paste that in in SiteGround. So make sure to click I already have a domain and paste in your domain name and get rid of the HTTP starf. All right, and what this is gonna do is SiteGround's gonna create a folder where the content you migrate um, to SiteGround will go. So they're not gonna register a domain name for you. You don't have to pay for it again or anything. They're just gonna set it up so your domain name now exists at SiteGround. And click proceed. All right, and if there's a slash, it won't like it, so get rid of the slash and proceed. All right, next we have our basic account information to do. So I'm gonna blank that out, but go ahead and write in your email, client information, all right. Payment information down here. You know what, I'm actually not even gonna do this because I already have an account, but you should go ahead and do this as quick as you can so we can get going with the fun stuff, which is actually migrating. Down here, make sure to enter in your purchase information correctly. So we have a startup, good. Data center. You could change that if you are in one of these other locations. So then SiteGround's data will be located closer to you, which will allow for even faster page speeds. All right, 12 months is the best deal, perfect. We're gonna go down and not check the SG site scanner, although you can add that later on if you want. And then just click I confirm and, uh, well, we don't have to receive any news, probably already have enough emails. And so the price we're gonna be paying today will be just Get my calculator out, 699 times 12 equals 83.88. Perfect, so that checks out. We're good to go, and if you're registering it for longer or shorter, that might be different. Let me know any questions at all on the pricing and the discount, because I answer a lot of questions for people on those things. I know you want this to look perfect and get the best deal possible, and that's why I'm here for you. And then we're just gonna click Pay Now, and after you do that, you'll be inside your SiteGround client area, where you can go ahead and start migrating the WordPress content. All right, so let's click pay now and then move forward. All right, next, assuming your payment went through, I'm just gonna use this graphic from our tutorial on Easy Website Ideas to show you what you should see. It should say your account was successfully created at SiteGround, and then you're just gonna click proceed to customer area. Boom. So you are now in your customer area, AKA your client area. That's just what they call it now at SiteGround. Really cool. And there should be a button in the middle that says set up site. In my case, I already did that. So I don't have that button, but you should just click set up site. I'm gonna go to websites because that's where it'll take you. Okay, so you're gonna have no websites here probably. I have four websites. Um, and what it's gonna show you instead is if I click on new website, it's gonna show you something like this right here. So what you're gonna do is not click new domain, not click temporary domain, but click existing domain, which is your domain that's already live at GoDaddy. And then from this drop down, it should allow you to choose your domain name. If it's not there for whatever reason, we just need to write it in. Just trying to take you through every possible scenario here. All right, and then click continue. It's gonna say the domain you wish to register use is not registered at SiteGround, you should make sure you have access to this domain, which we do. We're gonna update its DNS settings later, and we're gonna proceed with this domain by clicking continue. All right, now we're gonna click migrate website. So select that. And down here we have the 
manual transfer by the team which i mentioned earlier that's where they do it for you but we don't get one of those for free and we definitely don't want to pay 30 dollars so of course we're going to do this super fast wordpress auto migration so select that and click continue great job guys making a lot of good progress here we are not going to add the sg site scanner just another upcharge of theirs and we're going to click finish so what it's doing now is setting up the hosting and the domain name together for you at SiteGround so that SiteGround is ready to receive your content. You're all set. All right, so our website's been created successfully. All you need to do is initiate the migration by following a few simple steps. Super easy. Step one would be to download the plugin. Now we don't need to do this because we already got that plugin right through WordPress back here in GoDaddy. So that saves you a step. You don't want to download a plugin to your computer if you don't have to. You can just get it free within WordPress. So we're going to go to the next step, which is get the migration token. All right, pretty self-explanatory. We just need to copy that, come back to our WordPress website in SG Migrator plugin, and paste in our token. Make sure you get the email here correctly because we're going to want that information once it's done and click initiate transfer boom all right guys that's basically it if it glitches out here you're gonna need to just try again just do the transfer again no harm done it'll probably do that one in ten times um, right now it's emailing me different notes about our migration to SiteGround and once it's done it'll give you a link to preview your site on SiteGround before you actually change your DNS settings. This, all this stuff is not affecting your website at GoDaddy. It's still live, people are still using it, your old website has not been changed. It's just making a copy of it on uh, SiteGround. Um, perfect. And after that goes through successfully, all you need to do is just go back to GoDaddy and it's gonna give you your new SiteGround name servers right here on this screen. And at GoDaddy, you're gonna click on DNS, and then you're going to go down to name servers and click change and enter in your two new SiteGround name servers. Right here, you're going to click this link and then pop in name server one and two, and they should look something like these two right here NS1, NS2. All right, so you just copy these little pieces. All right, and paste them in one and two and save them. And that will connect, AKA point your domain to your new hosting at SiteGround. All right guys, our SiteGround Migrator is still working. I don't want to waste any more of your time though. Uh, I just want to say thanks so much for watching this video on how to migrate or transfer GoDaddy hosting and WordPress to SiteGround. Hope you love your new SiteGround services. And uh, yeah, let me know any questions in the comments. Make sure to smash that like button. That of course helps me out a ton for free. Go ahead and use that discount link for SiteGround below. That's how I earn a commission and keep the video free for everyone here on YouTube. And once you're all done, you'll be able to log into SiteGround through your uh, new client area right here. You'll have site tools. Let me know any questions about figuring those out. Um, but you can also just log into WordPress through the links that come to your email or through the forward slash WP admin link you might have already been using. All right, guys, I'm Graydon Ryan. Thanks so much for watching. Bye for now.